Hi there, I'm Sean Delman. In this video, I'll be showing you two extremely powerful and somewhat lesser known features that can supercharge your Microsoft Office experience and give you all kinds of benefits. These productivity tips can save you time by reducing the need to retype or copy and paste the same things over and over again, ensure consistency in your writing by using standardized content, reduce errors by storing commonly used content, and improve productivity by streamlining the writing process and allowing you to focus on the unique aspects of your message. These two tips, which are game changers for anyone who spends a lot of time using Microsoft Office, are custom auto corrections and quick parts. Stay tuned and I'll show you how you can quickly and easily set them up and get them working for you. They are totally free, easy to use, and don't require any special software or training. At the end of this video, I'll tell you how you can download my simple guide, which walks you through the process step by step and answers frequently asked questions. As always, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. First up is custom autocorrections. Have you ever entered a typo in Microsoft Word, such as misspelling the word believe, only to see that the software automatically changes it to the correct spelling? Have you ever wondered how this change happens? This occurs because Microsoft Word keeps a list of autocorrections that it makes if it detects certain sequences of letters. Autocorrections are useful because they save you time by freeing you from the need to enter other keystrokes to fix typos. But did you know that you can easily edit the list of autocorrections to make your own custom entries? By doing so, you can complete your writing work faster because by entering only a few keystrokes, you can produce a lot of content. You can also complete your writing work with greater accuracy because once you set up a custom autocorrection shortcut, the word or phrase will be reproduced exactly as you've entered it every time you use it. I'll show you how to set it up in a moment, but first I'll show you some examples of how it works. As part of my work, I often send email messages to teammates and ask them to help me with tasks. In this example email, I'm sending a message to a teammate named Alex asking for help with preparing a draft letter to another lawyer. My message says, Good afternoon, Alex. Can you please prepare a draft letter to plaintiff's counsel on the Donahue v. Stevenson file? Thank you. This short message contains 125 characters, including the spaces. Here's a version of the same message showing you where I've used custom autocorrection shortcuts to replace many of the words and phrases. GA underscore Alex, CYP underscore, prepare a draft letter to PC underscore on the DON underscore file, TY underscore. This text is shorter and contains only 65 characters. And now this is what it looks like when I type it into Microsoft Outlook. As you can see, as soon as I type out an autocorrection shortcut, the software replaces it with my custom output. Just as Outlook changes believe spelled incorrectly to believe spelled correctly, it changes my shortcuts to other text. By using custom autocorrections in this way, I'm saving keystrokes and drafting messages faster and with greater accuracy. In this specific example, I'm using 65 characters to produce 125 characters, which means I'm saving 60 keystrokes and finishing my drafting in almost half the time. The sooner that I can get this email written and sent, the sooner I can move on to my other work. Also, I don't need to worry about whether I spelled the autocorrection words correctly, because they'll export exactly as I've set them. At this point, you may be thinking that the file name Donahue v. Stevenson isn't so bad, but what if the file name was something longer and more complicated like this? This file name contains 40 characters and isn't very easy to spell. If I instead use an autocorrection shortcut like CHO underscore, I can use four characters to produce 40, which means I'm drafting this text in a tenth of the time, and I don't need to worry about whether it's spelled correctly. Time is money, and increasing precision while simultaneously reducing the time it takes me to draft increases my potential to get more work done while ensuring high quality work product. It's a win-win. So how do you set up autocorrection shortcuts? It's actually really easy and it only takes a few seconds. Start by opening Microsoft Word. Click File, Options, Proof In, and then Autocorrect Options. This will open the window that makes all the magic happen. In this window, you'll see two important fields, Replace and With. Not surprisingly, Replace is the field where you enter the text to be replaced. This is the custom autocorrection shortcut that you're choosing for a particular output, such as GA underscore for good afternoon. In the width field, enter the text that will do the replacing, up to 255 characters. This is the text that will be outputted whenever you enter the autocorrection shortcut. In this case, the two-word phrase, good afternoon. Once you've entered the information in the replace and width fields, click OK once and then OK again to go back to the main screen, and that's it. Your custom autocorrection is ready to use. To make further custom autocorrection shortcuts, just repeat these same steps. 
At this point, it's up to you to consider your own writing and the kinds of text that you can replace using custom autocorrections. If you'd like to get started by seeing a copy of the custom autocorrections that I personally use, stay tuned until the end of this video. At this point, I should note that if you find for any reason that your custom autocorrection shortcuts aren't working properly, you may need to restart your Microsoft Office application, and if that doesn't work, you may need to restart your computer. Microsoft Office can sometimes be finicky, and it doesn't always immediately pick up new autocorrections, and sometimes you need to restart things to get it working. Depending on the version of Microsoft Office that you're using, once you enter your autocorrections into the list, they will work in all of the Microsoft Word, Outlook, and Excel applications. As I mentioned, the maximum number of characters that you can enter in the replace field is 255. So if you want a shortcut that can generate more than 255 characters, you may want to use Quick Parts. Similar to custom autocorrections, Quick Parts is a feature which is designed to enhance the efficiency of drafting. It allows you to create and insert reusable pieces of content, such as text and images, into email messages or documents. Have you ever noticed that you're typing out a long sentence or paragraph, and you realize that it's something that you've typed out before, such as in a different email or document? What do you do? You likely make a decision between two options. A, should I look through my sent email and try to find the language that I'm looking for? Or B, should I just write it all out again? If you go with plan A, you may spend a lot of time looking for the email, and if you can't think of the right keywords, you may not be able to find it. Even if you do have the right keywords, if it was sent a long time ago, it may be buried in your email records, or you may have already deleted it or archived it. Instead of finishing the job of producing the text, now you're being sidetracked trying to locate previous work product. Assuming that you do find it, you then have to copy and paste it into your current email message or document. If you go with plan B, you can avoid the problems associated with plan A, but you're duplicating work product and expending the same effort that you've expended in the past. Depending on how long the wording is, it could take you a long time to reproduce it, and you may leave out some parts that were included in the superior past version. As a solution to this problem, you can use Quick Parts. In this example, I'm a business owner who's sending an email message to a new client to provide office directions. My message is a five-step written explanation, which comes with a picture of a map. This is a perfect time to use Quick Parts because this isn't the last time I'll be sending an email like this, and I don't want to type it out every time. So how can I make and use Quick Parts? Start by opening a new email message in Microsoft Outlook. In the body of the email, produce whatever content you wish to make into a Quick Part, including text and images. Highlight the content. Click Insert in the Tool ribbon, then Quick Parts, then Save Selection to Quick Parts Gallery. Now add a descriptive name to the name field. For my example, I'll use Office Directions as a descriptive name. Click OK to save, and that's it. You've now saved your content to the Quick Parts Gallery. To use your newly created Quick Part, open a new email message, return to the Quick Parts Gallery by clicking Quick Parts, and then click the entry. Your content will be inserted into your message, and that's it. No more rewriting things over and over again, and no more looking through old emails or documents for wording that you've used in the past. If you want to use Quick Parts in Microsoft Word, the process is essentially the same. So before I wrap up, I'll quickly summarize the benefits of using custom autocorrections in Quick Parts. First, time is money, and these features save you time and could make you more money because they save effort, increase productivity, and help you get onto working on other things more quickly. If you manage an office, you may want to share this video with your whole team to get them using these features and see what it does to your bottom line. Second, these features improve the quality of your work product because they reduce occurrences of typos and other spelling errors. Once you enter your outputs, assuming that you haven't included any typos, there won't be any future typos when you output the content. The less time you spend making and fixing typos, the more time you can spend making higher quality content. Third, these features also increase consistency and ensure that you're using a uniform style and spelling for your preferred terms. Fourth and last, these features can be personalized to your own unique writing style, making the experience more tailored. Your custom autocorrections and your quick parts can be different from your neighbors or coworkers to help you do the work that's specific to you. So there you have it. That's my walkthrough of how to use custom autocorrections and quick parts in Microsoft Office. Before I wrap up, if you liked this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If there's anything that you have questions about that I didn't cover in this video, please be sure to comment below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to download my simple guide, which provides step-by-step -step walkthroughs, examples of the autocorrections I personally use, and answers to frequently asked questions, please visit my website at www.seandillman.com. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Dillman.